I have just found in my songs folder the first ever recording I did of London, which is from the 25th of October 2016. Listen to this. So free, I miss country roads, feeling of plum and fall. The sound of color we hid in the plate as we I think we've fallen out of love. And it should have a different middle age. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I, so I originally. So London, I don't think I've ever spoken about this before, but the middle eight, when I first wrote it, was different to the one that you hear now. And I often, when I'm singing that song, will initially go to sing the old one. And there's been a few times when I've mugged it up on stage and I haven't quite got it right um, because I'm still used to the old one that I first wrote. And also, I didn't finalise the lyrics for... I'm not, you're making it so tough. I'm not alone in feeling this lost until I was in the studio on the microphone recording it because I could never quite work out what the rhyme is and get it right. So I get that lyric wrong too. Because I'm so nice. Here is the old middle eight. I'm not a love. I can forgive you for the things that you're not. I can look past the street lamps in the morning. Smuggle and sleep through the night. When the train just made noise, I'll put up with the tourists in the dreams you destroy oh London I'm not out of love with you yet I just need you to make me into the night standing shining in the lies that you told if you've been to a show you know you this one the demo from Maestro. He's a hollow man. This is like one of my first ever writing sessions in London in 2014. Oh my god, this is the song that gave birth to the Kodiak Club. I wrote this song and it was the first song that people were ever like, oh my god, what's that song? I want to hear that song by you, Sarah. At uni, this was like I play this in every songwriting class. No, the recording is so shit. And that concludes today's episode of I'm Gonna Leak My Own Songs. Hope you all enjoyed it. Get ready to tune in for the next one. Probably coming quite soon, considering I love to tease my own songs. And uh, let me know which ones of those I should release.